Okay, so this part of the video, my microphone on my GoPro stopped working, so I'm just going to do a voiceover. So here I'm measuring how high the, the fascia has to be on the risers, because we don't want to look at that um, pressure-treated wood. It's not that attractive, so we're going to be cutting uh, risers to go, or uh, <coughs> fascia to go in front of the risers. So there's the same fence board we're using for both the steps and the fascia. So I'm measuring how long it is, about five inches to the ground so originally I was going to cut it at five and a half inches and dig down more but I ended up cutting it at five inches so I'll show you that later so here we're back in the shop and I have my table saw set up with the uh, shop vac in the back right there to, to pick up the uh, uh, dust coming off of the table saw and here I'm seeing that there's a bunch of knots in the board and I obviously can't use those for steps or the fascia because it's going to look bad so I can use this section and because there's two feet of clear board and but as these uh, dog ear these are dog eared uh, fence boards which I probably shouldn't have bought those either but I probably shouldn't have bought this board at all because it had so many knots in it but I can I can uh, cut off the dog ears which is what I'm doing now and then cut the rest of the board so I'm using my um, panel cutter uh, jig that I built so it lets you cut panels safely or long boards like this on the table saw so you're, you're not having to listen to the loud noise of the table saw so this is actually a plus here so I'm carefully carefully taking everything off without uh, messing up my messing up anything and then now I can safely take out the cut off piece so. All right, so now I need to measure again to get my two feet of what's left after I cut off the dog ears. So I'm going to measure that. I'm going to use my cross square to uh, draw the line so I know where to cut. All right, I'll set that up in the jig. I have those two hold downs that uh, toggle into place that keeps the boards secure because you want to hold on to it too. But there you go. So that's an easy cut there. So that's my first. Um, right now, I'm right now I'm I'm cutting the steps, the top of the steps, not the fascia. I'll do that later. So I did, I'm going to do the rest of those. I have eight steps to do. And uh, I was talking here about how the uh, board is cupped a little bit. So you want to put the, the cup side up. I like showing the grain there. And that's going to be down. This side's going to be up because that sheds the water better. So you want to make sure you don't it, there, there you can see the cupping really easily there. So all boards that are wide like this are going to have some cupping to it because of the grain. So you just want to make sure the the bulging out part or the yeah the bulging out part is up. It's up so the water sheds off better because you don't want water pooling on the wood. It just causes uh, rotting problems. All right, so here I'm going to start doing the ripping now. So I cut all the all the steps. So I'm swapping out my uh, crosscut saw, which is 40 teeth, for a 24 tooth combination saw, which is good for crosscutting and ripping. So my forest uh, crosscut saw is super good. I always use that for everything except when I'm doing ripping. The, the redwood is so soft. I probably could have used the the forest uh, saw to to rip it, but it's a lot safer and better to use the crosscut saw. So this this video is not really about how to use your table saw particularly, but anyway. So here I'm showing how I set up the, the rip fence for at five inches. That's how tall my fascia is going to be. I've got all my fascia boards cut already. They're two feet long, just like the other ones. And now I just need to rip each one. And uh, uh, so I have the right length. So so we're going to be using uh, hearing protection. 
Oh yeah, here, here's some of the boards I couldn't use because they were split. So I ended up cutting those out. So I've got a couple boards left. It's always good to have a couple boards when you have a fence, which I do, in case some of them have problems and you can replace your boards without having to go to the store. So. Now here's some of the safety equipment I'm using. I'm using uh, safety glasses, hearing protection. I'm using this pusher stick, so you get you, so it keeps your hand farther away from the blade. So when you're pushing the ripped rip, ripped wood through the table saw, you want to use this kind of a pusher stick like this to keep your hands farther from the blade. You know, the blade guard is going to be on there, but it's better just to use as much protection as you can. So. The other thing we do is use a feather lot, feather board. Uh, that keeps the wood pushed up against the rip fence because it'll have a tendency to wander. And you, again, you know what? You want to put your hand on the left side of the board as it's going through the uh, table saw because you, your hand is very close to the blade at that point, which is dangerous. So, so some type of a feather board like this is great. In fact, I'd say it's required equipment for ripping. It also prevents the kickback. So when you're pushing a long board through the table saw, the wood has a tendency to kick back toward you because the saw is rotating towards you. I mean, the blade is. So um, you want to uh, use some kind of a feather board because those little uh, fingers there that are sticking out are going to be pushing up against the wood and preventing it from kicking backwards. Of course, you don't want to stand right behind it either. That's the other other simple uh, safety measure to do is don't stand right behind your board when you're cutting it. So, all right. So we're we're uh, we're, we're checking in each board to see where the worst part is. There's a big knot on that side, so we're going to rip rip that side apart or rip that side off and use the five inches on the right on this board. So each board we're looking at it and seeing which which side is the best that has five inches that we we like better, and, and then we're cutting off the other two and a half inches. So these boards are seven and a half inches wide. So again, we're doing the cupping. It's also better when you're, you're cutting the board to put the cupping up again so that uh, the edges of the board are uh, touching the table saw, the, the bed of the table saw is just going to feed in better and be uh, the feather boards are going to work better. So here we go. We start it off. It's hard to see it, but I'm standing to the left side of this. See, I'm moving over to the left side so that if it kicks back, it's not going to hit me in the stomach. There we go. And we turn off the table saw. Wait, everything slows down until we uh, take the boards out. Turn off the fan. Take the boards out from that side. All right, there's our first fascia. Seven more to go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.